Cold Man, did you happen to catch NXT last week? I never miss it. I like to watch and say, yep, better than that guy. Oof, better than that loser. Way better than that turkey. Sounds like a fun way to watch the show. It is. But there is one guy there who is pretty awesome. I can't remember his name, though. Rhymes with Fanny. Looks like he's about uh, 17. Oh, you mean Manny. No, but that's close. Maybe it was Nanny or Granny. Nah, it'll come to me. Anyway, I wanted to ask what you thought about Trey hijacking the show and calling out Velveteen Dream. Kind of reminded me of when we invaded NXT a couple years back. Yeah, but when we did it, we had super cool costumes from my Uncle Don's costume shop in Syracuse, New York. <laughs> You're welcome, Uncle Don. Well, our little stunt in NXT kind of backfired with Triple H and Baron. But so far, it looks like it's working out for Trey because he ended up getting Velveteen to be his partner for the Dusty Classic. Crazy! That's it. That's definitely not it. Your thoughts on Trey? He's a loudmouth, and all he cares about is his look and doing whatever he can to entertain the crowd. Hey, how about you focus on winning a match, you turkey? Okay, I feel like you're trying to make turkey into a thing, but it's not really happening. That's exactly what a turkey would say. Ugh. Time to update my school's website again. I'm thinking something like Riley Flash, esteemed trainer of May Young Classic winner and NXT Women's Champion Red. Oh, and NXT superstar Trey. I guess he's doing all right for himself now. Well, anyway, you keep it up, champ. I got my eye on you. Because of your eye injury a couple weeks back? Yeah, feel free to use that on TV. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is gonna happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title back where it belongs. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's Velveteen Trey! He's even got a fanny pack! We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now it appears Trey has followed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's gonna need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match.
This no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be unconventional, but he's also one of the most gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. suplex on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Gets him with a counter. And he's heading back in. He might have been waiting on that one. Perhaps feeling a little more comfortable on the outside at this point. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what they're liable to see. He's getting a little batter now. No need to panic. He's still swinging. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. <laughs> I'm getting tired just watching him. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today. Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. You guys, keep in mind this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. Wait a minute. What's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs, and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes, and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Boom. <laughs> you know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Whoa, it's another reversal. Omega driver. Evading possible disaster there. Oh, turn down the lights, kick everybody out. Curtain call. This match is brutality starting to show on him. It's extreme rules. Serious injury comes with the territory. Back suplex. Saw that one coming. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Spiking DDT. There he goes, crashing to the floor. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside.
What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Now you said it yourself. This match is no disqualification, so that was perfectly legal. Back in from the floor. Oh, knee right to the face. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. We'll see if he can sustain the effort to do real damage. This is going to be big. From the top. Impressive, Michael. All the way to the top. Here we go. Big body splash. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Incoming. Oh, again! A whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. And he continues to use the chair! Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. Dream just barely got out of the way. He's looking to bring this one to the outside where things can get ugly in an instant. He evades the attack. He has become relentless at this point. He can turn it on in a hurry. Oh, what a combo! I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. All the way from the top rope. Big body splash. some of his win now. He better turn the tide. Extreme rules leave no room for error. Now oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Oh, nasty impact. That connected. I think that was harder than the first time, Cole. Gets out of the way. And fast. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Oh, what an impact. Oof. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. 
Oh, and a knee to the face. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Lightning fast reflexes. No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. He's absorbing some tough hits now. A change of strategy has to be his next move. Ooh, he's in control. Big reversal. Backbreaker. Going up top. We've seen him here a few times tonight. He's trying again. A couple of months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. see the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless a huge win for Trey tonight.